Hey guys, I've just been in my seedling greenhouse and I just noticed a casualty. So it's storm and it has knocked down a large, a large Trichocerois column. And that one knocked down this here, this Trichocerois chulensis. And that one knocked down this Trichocerois bridgesi. You can see it left really bad wounds. I mean, this is a, a grafting stock, so it's not really a, it's not really a problem. But you can see it it really messed messed it up for good. So I'm trying to. Oh yeah. Oh my God! Check this out. It really messed it up very good. This guy is totally is totally fine. In this greenhouse, I mostly keep my grafting stock or plants that are new and that are like in in quarantine in in quarantine. So I I still had this Trichocerois chilensis in this greenhouse, and yeah, it was not solid solidly standing enough for the storm. This one here looks like it's. Like it's torn off partially, you know. If I would li leave it like this, it would almost certainly cause an infection. These wounds here, these are really, really, um, I don't want to say dangerous, but they pose a, a great potential for infections. This has a lot of blunt force trauma. And it is over a very wide area with with a lot of skin still intact. And if you have s skin on the, the the skin causes this forms small holes and layers inside the plants. You know where humidity can can be trapped when it rains, and that's usually can be a problem. You know. And um, I'll gotta see how how this heals. It looks really bad. I'm really surprised to see this because I've had cacti fall off all the time, fall over. But this here, this this looks pretty bad. I mean, I'll probably cut it here and here and uh, root this separately to see if it's going to be all right. Because now if this is if this is producing, if if this is ending to be an infection, then uh, it won't spread into the rest of the plant. But yeah, doesn't look good. I kind of neglected this this one. I've just put it into the greenhouse and been watering it, so I can use it to graft on towards the end of the to, towards the mid season. And yeah, doesn't look so good now. Sorry. And yeah, here, this guy, check this out. I've been fertilizing it, and this is the new growth that's pushing at the top, you know? See this glowing green? You know, this looks amazing. Trichocerois cuscansis is one of the most beautiful species that there are. So I feel like it's it's a good thing to end my video on a good note, so I want to show you this beautiful this beautiful plant instead of this this messed up nightmare so yeah take care have a nice day guys